eventually these forever chemicals, uh, these PFAS chemicals will have to be banned uh, from being used due to how environmentally dangerous they actually are. So let's explain how this unfolded. Researchers collected water samples directly from taps at 716 private wells and public sources. And based on their findings, they estimate at least one forever chemical would be detected in 45% of all drinking water samples across the country. But there are more than 12,000 types of these chemicals, and researchers weren't able to test for all of them, meaning the number of people drinking contaminated water may be even higher than what the study found. Here's why it matters. Exposure to the chemicals is linked to things like cancer, obesity, and thyroid disease. A previous I-Team analysis found North Carolina ranks in the top 10 for states with contaminated water sites, and the issue is disproportionately impacting poor and racially diverse areas. A no surprise there that the poor and the minorities are affected most because they don't have um, like private access to cleaner waters or systems that can uh, potentially remove the PFAS from the water. 80% of the contaminated sites in North Carolina are in zip codes that report an average median income below the national average. And this is so concerning because the chemicals remain in the human body for years and they don't degrade in the environment. You can take a closer look at our I-Team reporting by going to abc11.com.